Hello, welcome to fly dressing, made easy. We're going to be tying one of the old, fi old fashioned classics, if you want to call them old fashioned, the snipe and purple. So as you can see, we've got hook already in the vise, just to save time. And it's a partridge size 12 wet fly hook. And onto that we're going to use the old original Purcell's Gossamer Silk. Really nice, really nice to use. So we're going to attach it just slightly behind the eye. And if you are a beginner to fly time and you want to get touching turns which is important particularly on the first layer of silk just keep you at the waist end up at an angle away from the shank and what's happening the turns of thread are actually naturally sliding down that slope of thread which is at an angle and you'll get natural touching turns okay cut the waist off we'll just make sure that that's disappeared completely and we're going to return the thread to the starting position now it's important that you get touching turns on most applications but not as important on the second layer because we have got a foundation layer underneath so no gaps will show through and sometimes a few gaps in the second layer actually have a beneficial effect in that they give you a, a segmented, more segmented body. Now what we're using and what we've prepared is a snipe hackle. As you can see I've taken the, the barbs or the fibres off one side of the hackle, leaving them on the other side and a little tuft at the end which we're actually going to trim off now rather than later. So I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. that. There we go. So that prevent, well that gets away from the need to having to go in to cut the waste off with your scissors at the, at the eye, which sometimes you can end up cutting something you don't want to cut. So there we have the hackle tied in. As you notice I use an old fashioned hackle pliers which I've had for so many years, I wouldn't like to think how many years. Now we're going to wind this around and we're working towards the eye. And we want to avoid trapping any of the fibres down so we're going to make sure we are moving forward with the with the turns of hackle. So there we have it. Now it's just a simple matter of actually tying that down. Okie doke. As you can see these flies, oh, these range of patterns are, are very simple and very s easy to tie once you've got used to manipulating the materials but they've probably been all over the world and caught fish all over the world so they've stood the test of time unlike many of the perhaps more modern garish creations these always caught fish and they always will and we tend to think well or I tend to think you forget about them at your peril because they are real good fish catching flies so there we have it a simple yet effective old fashioned north country spider so I'm just going to leave the camera on that momentarily just so you can actually perhaps see it a little bit better without my hands in the way and as you can see the effect is is really really nice very very straggly but lots and lots of movement in the water 
Well ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching again and this is the second in the series of the North Country or Soft Tackle Flies. Please keep watching, there will be future ones on in the next few days and I'm going to say good afternoon to you all.